major update as of November 9, 2021. Uh, in this update, I'll run through the road to test network, the proof of benefit uh, conceptualization experimentation we're doing, the infrastructure setup that uh, we have uh, planned, the ERC20 token contract that uh, we develop as part of our IDO plans, and the roadmap that we have formalized to execute the mission and vision of FIRE. Our road to test network launch has several updates on them, has several significant updates, um, infrastructure updates, uh, with our ongoing partnership, Huawei, we have further strengthened our collaboration with them by utilizing their Elastic Cloud server uh, to run and launch our initial set of Firechain test network nodes. In the development side, we have started to, to build and conceptualize and build the Explorer, which will be the main user interface for users to view the generated blocks of our of the of the fire chain we've also started to build the wallet application this wallet will be used to send and transfer tokens across different fire chain accounts uh, we've also created a validator initial validator accounts with transferable tokens and bonding tokens configured onto the platform so in addition we have completed the development of the erc20 token the erc20 token is in line with our plans for ido and in addition in addition to this, we have identified the Genesis accounts based on our research on what we need to incorporate on the creation of the Genesis block when we launch Test Network. In terms of the research updates, uh, formal definition of design analysis and incentive mechanisms for proof of fire. We are making progress on the soundness and provable security of proof of benefit and uh, we have formalized a roadmap to main network. So in terms of the proof of benefit and or proof of fire, we actually been doing a lot of experimentation on what different weight we can incorporate into the scoring system of the node. We are incorporating a few weights to uh, to, to this so that to, to include the proof of fire or proof of benefit which will include the the sustainability factor scoring system. In addition to this, in the, we have started to create a plan on how are we going to roll out the nodes. We have identified that uh, we would need to set a bootstrap nodes, which will be the main or the initial set of nodes. And these nodes will be used by other nodes so to form the overall network. This is currently being implemented on test network. Uh, we technically we have four, so we have 12 nodes running right now on test network and four of them are configured to be the bootstrap nodes. So each node will need to be associated with an account and since we're running in a nominated proof of stake, they would need to have stakes on them. So we have created a list of validator accounts here and associated and assigned them the, the stakes that they need in order for them to participate and also validate blocks. So in addition to this, we have started to conceptualize and uh, design the uh, Explorer. It's basically a tool to view the generated blocks as well as the transfers, the holders, the staked amount that's on the network. So uh, this is something that's in progress and uh, we will uh, be making a few changes to it in this week as well. Lastly, the product roadmap. Um, it's really important that we have established a product roadmap so that we can we have some sort of direction on how to execute the mission and vision of the of the, of the platform. So this is something that uh, we have formulated. Uh, we have uh, converted all of these into Jira tasks. So we have a Jira board here that uh, we created and we put everything on the backlog as a task and um, basically something that's an executable unit right that can be measured anyone can pick it up in the team and uh, build them so it's, it's it's sort of like a uh, management tool for task management tool so that uh, our execution are in line with our roadmap here and that's about it uh, thank you so much mm -hmm.